So today, 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 I am back with a video and something a little different. Today, I'm trying my first ever makeup tutorial. I've really been dreading these tutorials because I personally feel like they're hard to do, like record, because you have to have it close up, then you have to have a camera. Like, I just feel like it was hard to record. Um, but I'm finally doing one today on this look that I have to, on this look that I have on right now. Um, I did this look like a week and a half ago, but a lot of people have been requesting this video because I dropped, I just dropped my own, um, pigments. I have my own neon pigments. So I did this look and so many people love this look. So I was like, you know what, let me go and do a video just so I can show them how I did this look and how to, um, put on your pig pigments because a lot of people have a hard time putting it on pigments because they don't know, you know, what makes them stick, how to put it on, blah, 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 blah. Um, so that's what I'm here today. I'm here to show you guys how to do all that. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover throughout the whole video just to tell you guys what products I use, why I got it, you know, just little details and tips. Um, but before I head on and get into this video, make sure y'all go down there, hit that subscribe button. Also give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Wait till the end because we don't like fake likes, you know what I'm saying? And go press that bell. Go press that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. I am trying to get into the beauty makeup thing. Um, I'm slowly, gradually getting into it. Um, I hope to record more videos for you guys on different kind of looks and stuff like that. So if you guys have any requests, just drop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. And I also want to know what y'all think about this look. So drop that in the comments too. And if you guys have like any ideas or anything. So let's just go ahead and get straight into this video. Okay, you guys. So I am using my white base that I have got. I purchased this from MAC. And this is pretty much just going to hold the pigments in place to where I need them to stay. And I'm just smearing this all over my eyes. And make sure you smear it really good where there's no creases. I'm using my neon pigments that I just launched on my website from Radiant Cartel. And this is pretty much just a flat brush that I'm going to be using to place the pigments on. It's real flat. Um, this pretty much just grabs the pigment and places it right where you want it to be. Um, I love this brush. I also use that brush for a cut crease. It just really gets into detail to really what you're trying to do. I almost forgot the most important thing in this clip is the tape. You need this tape. The tape is pretty much going to stop the pigment from going all over the place. It's pretty much just going to cut a crease for you naturally so you don't have to go back in and redo it and cut it yourself. This tape really helps in this process. Okay, so with this pigment, I probably did about four layers. I really like my pigments bright and I really like them to stand out. So I'm not going to lie. I probably did like four layers of pigment because you just got to keep building. Like once you once you get started, you'll see like where you need to place the pigment more. And you just build from there. So I'm using that brush to go in between the colors. I'm not brushing. I'm literally dabbing my brush on there to try to blend the two colors together as much as possible. Do not scrape that brush between those two harsh lines. Please just tap the brush to try to blend. Okay, this is where the tape really comes in handy. That tape is creating that shape for you. This is what I was talking about when I was saying, so your eyeshadow doesn't be all over the place. That tape is really helping you out in this process in this clip.
doing the same exact process with this eye um my camera started getting blurry on the other eyes so i just decided to record on this eye because you guys can see it better i had the defocus in the background and stuff so it was messing it up but i got y'all but i got y'all As I'm applying each color, you guys can see that I just keep building those colors up. Like I keep adding more color to it. Again, just pat the brush between the colors. Do not swipe the brush. Cannot stress this, stress this enough. Just pat the brush between the colors and it will start to blend out for you. Here I am using my Morphe blending brush and I'm just kind of blending out the top of that so the lines won't be so harsh and it's just kind of going to bring everything together on this look. I'm just using that blending brush also between the colors just to try to get everything to come together. I really wasn't liking how harsh the colors were looking like, you know, when you transition into another color. So I was just using that brush to try to clean things up. Okay, this is the patting routine that I was trying to tell you guys to use between the colors. This is how you should be patting the brush on the colors to blend together. And voila, look how clean that line is. Like, what would I do without this tape, bruh? What would I do? I'm just going in and cleaning up any pigments that have fell. So yeah. I'm just going back in and kind of blending everything out to get it all, you know, to come together. Um, this is just me to my liking. I'm my biggest critic. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going in and cleaning that up. I did not put my lashes on camera because that was just too hard because I have these long nails on. Um, I'm just going in with my Il Maquillage Foundation. Oh my God, y'all. I'm obsessed with this foundation. If you guys did not check my video review out on that, go check that out. And this foundation is literally the most amazing foundation I've ever seen in life. So yeah. I'm going in with my Elf Foundation Brush. I low-key love Elf's brushes. I don't know why. I think because they're so affordable. But honestly, some of my best brushes are from Elf. So don't sleep on Elf. And I'm going in with my concealer. Do not ask where I got this from because honestly, I got it from the hair store. I do not know the brand. But all I know is I love this concealer. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going in with my concealer under my eyes, on my nose, on my chin. I don't know what it is with me and beauty blenders, but I just absolutely hate beauty blenders for me personally. I don't know why. I just hate beauty blenders. So I'm going back in with my foundation brush because that just blends out so much better for me. Everybody has their preference.
Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. Again, e.l.f. Eyeliner pomade. Um, I have to have a bottom liner. Like, that's just... No. I would never wear makeup and not wear a bottom liner. That's just me personally. I love bottom liner. So I'm just taking like a sharp edge brush and I'm using the same order of pigments that I used up top. I'm using that same order on the bottom to bring that down. I'm using my fan brush to kind of go in and knock those uh, pigments that fell off again. I really should have did this before I did my foundation, but I forgot. Okay, now it's time for the best thing ever, which is highlight. I'm using the crayon case Glocane, but first I'm going to go in with setting powder. So that way my highlight will have something to set on. It just comes out way better. I had a video of me contouring my face. I don't know where that video went and I'm not re-recording that. So if you guys want a separate video on that, let me know in the comments below. Okay, you guys. So this is the final look. I'm so obsessed with this look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys like this. And if you guys do this look, tag me on Instagram.